In this section, we're going to look at a distance formula, midpoint formulas, and circles. Um, I'm not real sure why they're putting this in a function section. A circle is not a function. Um, it's not a hard section. So we'll just go ahead and work on it because it's in this chapter. Um, the distance is the distance between two points, and it is just a formula that you plug into. I would label my points before plugging in. So we're going to use these two points, um, negative 1, 4, and 3, negative 2. And I'm not going to rewrite the formula since I have it right there. So D equals, I'm going to label these x1, y1, x2, y2. Right, and so it is going to be equal to the square root of the difference of the x's. So 3 minus negative 1. And then we are going to square plus the change in y's. So y2, negative 2, minus y1, 4. And then we're going to square. So this is a plus in there. So we have 4. And 4 squared gives us 16. This is a negative 6. Negative 6 squared gives us 36. And so we can add those together. So D equals the square root of 52. Uh, they ask us to do two things with the answer. Uh, give a simplified radical. So we will break it down. We'll do that on the side. So square root of 52. Um, well, I know there's a 2 in there because it ends in an even digit. So we'll just divide. 52 divided by 2 gives us 26. And 26 also has a 2. 2 times 13. And just do it on your calculator if you get stuck. So to simplify with the square root, if you find two copies of something that's a square, one goes out for that. That's like taking the square root of 4, which is a plain 2, goes on the outside. So 2 times the square root of 13. That is the exact answer. And then they ask us to give a, a decimal rounded to two places. So I'm going to pull the calculator up. And we'll plug in, um, let's see, we're on 2 times uh, the square root of 13. Close, enter, All right, and I'm getting 7.2111 because it'll go off when I write. All right, I'm going to switch to wavy lines, 7.2. 1, 1, 1. And I just went far enough to make sure I could get three decimal places because you need the third one to do your rounding. So they said to round to two places, right? So you look at the third one. If it's five or higher, this would go up. It's lower, so these are going to go off. So you're going to have um, 7.21. Same kind of question. On this one, we want to find the distance between these two points. And so we will use the distance formula. So we have negative 6, negative 2, and we have negative 4, 2. We'll call this x1, y1, and x2, y2. So we're going to plug straight into this formula. So x2 minus x1, so negative 4 minus uh, x1, negative 6, And it would have been fine to do plus there if you're good with that. Right, and this is plus. And I'm going to clean this up. It's just so I can tell it's not a 16. Right, and then I'll do the y's. Uh, y2 minus y1. And we'll square that. So this is plus 2. So this is going to be. 4. All right, 
So we have negative 4 plus 6, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. And here we have 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So this is going to be square root of 20. And 20 we can break down as 4 times 5. And 4, the square root is 2. And you can keep going. Uh, so we're going to have d equals 2 times the square root of 5. And then we'll get the decimal from our calculator. And we have 4.472. And it turns to approximate when we have that. So D is approximate 4.472. We're supposed to go to two decimal places. We needed to see the third one. Five or higher would push us up. This is lower, so it's going to drop off. So it's going to be approximately 4.47. Next we have a midpoint formula. So this is finding the point. So this gives you back an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Um, that is halfway in between these two points. And so what you do is you add up the x's and divide by 2. That gives your x coordinate. You add up the y's, divide by 2 gives your y coordinate and this is a point. All right, so not too hard. Um, a good idea to label your points. So this will be x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, and so we will just plug in. So we're going to add our x's, 1 plus negative 8, and we're going to divide by 2. And our y's, uh, we're going to do negative 6 plus negative 4 and divide by 2. So this gives us negative 7 over 2. And for the y's, we're getting negative 10 over 2, which gives us a negative 5. And that should be the midpoint between these two points if you put it on a graph. We have the same directions for these two points. Find the midpoint. So it's a good idea to label them. So this will be x1, y1, x2, y2. And I have my formula right here, so I don't have to rewrite it. You should rewrite it if you don't have it right there. So I'm going to add up the x. This is really taking the average. And divide by 2. And I'm going to add up the y's. And divide by 2. So this gives me negative 7 over 2 and 5 over 2. Next we're going to look at circles. And a circle is the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a, a fixed point called the center. The distance from the circle center to any point on the circle is called the radius. So from the center to the outside edge of the circle. Um, the standard form of the equation of a circle with center uh, hk and radius r is this form. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So for our first problem, we are given an equation and it's a circle and we want to fit it to our formula so that we can tell the center, the radius, and then we will graph it and tell the domain and the range. Right, so we just have x squared. We don't have some number that's subtracted. So the only thing that could be here is a 0 to give you back x squared. The same with the y on this one. Um, the k has to be 0 to just get y squared. So our center is going to be 0, 0. Your radius will be the square root. Square root of 16 is 4. 
and I'll just do a quick little graph here. So it is a circle. The center is at zero, zero. So my center is here. Now the center is not really on the circle, but it helps you to draw it. And um, it's four units away is the radius. One, two, three, four. So it's going to hit here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. And then you connect. You have to pretend this looks like a circle. All right? And so now from our circle, we want to answer domain and range. So how far left does it go? Well, it goes to negative four and it touches. It goes to positive four and it touches. Range is from negative 4 on the y-axis to positive 4 on the x-axis. We have another question to do the same things for. So we match our equation to the standard form of the circle. And so we have x minus, and we have a number here this time. Uh, it is in the minus form, so 3 is going to be the x-coordinate of our center. And there is nothing in with the y. So that k is going to be 0. Um, our radius will be the square root of 9, which is 3. And we'll draw. So we have 3, 0. And remember, this point is not really on the circle, but it will help us to draw. And we're going to go three units out in each direction from this center. One, two, three. So that point is on the edge. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And then we will connect all those points with these arches. So it's supposed to be a circle. And now we can easily give the domain and the range. So the leftmost point is 0. The rightmost point is going to be 6. And you could count those, but it's 3 and 3 more. All right? The range is from lowest to highest. And so our lowest is negative 3. And our highest is positive 3. And we are touching those. So we have our equation of the circle again. We match it to our standard form to pick our pieces off. All right, it is x minus h. So 3 will be the x coordinate of the center. All right, you have to be a little careful on this y. The formula is minus. It's a positive here. So it has to be minus a negative 4. So you're going to need to use negative 4 here. And then square root of 1 is 1. So we can draw it. Our center is at 3, negative 4. And our radius is 1. So this is a tiny circle. Right, and for our domain, um, it is going to be 2 is the leftmost point, and we're touching it. And then the rightmost point will be 4. Range, the lowest point, is negative 5. And the highest point is negative 3. All right? If you're not able to draw a picture, you can work with your center and the radius to get this domain and um, range. So if you're getting your domain, you're working with the x-coordinate. So to get the x, 
To get this point on the left side, you're going to subtract 1, 3 minus 1, so your starting point is 2. To get the right point from your center, you're going to add 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. So if you can't draw it, you can do that just working with your radius and that coordinate. For the range, you would work with the y coordinate. So negative 4 minus 1 gives us negative 5. That's the lowest. And negative 4 uh, plus 1 gives us negative 3. And that would be the highest point on it.